Usually a boat's named after a single person. But uh, these two guys are pretty special. Uh, Chuck Hogan was my father. We rode in Penn in the late 40s. Al Lon, one of his best friends, is here today. Uh, and that's really what's important to me in my advanced age about rowing, rowing a pen, is the lifelong friendships you make when you're rowing. Uh, Al and my dad grew up a couple blocks from each other in Fairmount. They went to uh, St. Francis Xavier grade school. They went to Roman Catholic high school together. But my dad was a year ahead of Al. So they didn't really know each other that well. They were acquainted with each other. But it wasn't until they came to Penn, started rowing together, Al, my dad, Jack Kelly, that they really forged that iron tight bond of, 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 of uh, friendship and fraternity. And, uh, you know, and they've, they've kept it up. I mean, at Penn, they were quite successful. They won a number of cups for Penn. Al and my dad were national championships at Vesper, they were cha champions at Vesper. They almost won the Olympic trials of 48 in the pair. And, and after that was over, they stayed friends. Joel, till, till the day my father passed away, they were friends, always talking on the phone, getting together. Uh, my dad was coached at, at uh, Columbia after Penn, Columbia freshman. Al was a coach of the lightweights here at Penn. Kept in touch. My dad and, and Al were instrumental in junior rowing in the 70s. Al had the Oyster Bay Rowing Association. My dad was instrumental down here at Vesper and at the national level organizing regattas. They were always working together, being friends, doing the things they, they loved. And uh, as well, sorry, uh, Charlie Butt couldn't be here because his father, Charlie Butt Sr., was also part of that same same crony group, getting together, helping to, to promote American rowing. And uh, you know, it's thanks to giants such as these guys that we're in a position where we are in American rowing. And uh, I think it's right that we honor them and uh, and uh, you know and thank them. And also, it's a continuing legacy. My brother Sean and I rode at Penn. My other brother rode at St. Joe's. Al's son Al rode at Yale. Quite a successful career. And uh, it's just it's just good to see that that uh, you know the friendships that uh, that are forged in the crucible of of rowing and how we really do have friends for life. And uh, on that note, I would like my friend Al Wan maybe to say it. A few words if you'd like to. Okay. Just stay there! I'll say just a few words. Championship 
100 degrees up in Syracuse. He turns around, hands a cup to his captain. He said, he, his, his crew won the race, not the coach. So you win your race in life, win your race at the boathouse. I have tears in my eyes just to be here. I'm emotional. I'm getting to a point where uh, I've never felt my physical abilities would leave me, would have leaving me slowly. But this is a grand day. I'm proud to be, I wrote it, thank you. Thank you. All. I also want to thank my brother Sean because he's the one who actually actually donated this show. So I would, would be remiss to not thank Sean for this. Uh, my dad wasn't much of a champagne drinker; he's more of a beer drinker. So got some beer. Would you? Would you give One down here. This good beer, I'm fishing the boat, so we shut all in and out on. Get in, I'll get a shot of you guys all, oh, all together. Get everybody together here. Hey, Luke, Al. Hey, guys, yeah, I'm going to do it a little more on this angle. Yeah. Hey, Al, come on in. Yep. Okay. Dad, turn around this way. Towards the camera. Towards the camera. In front of me. You're in the center. Drop me out. Where's next Hang on, just two more. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful.